I have a problem. We all have a problem. And I know this is like stating the obvious at the moment, but I have a real problem trying to decide whether I think this year, your year, you guys, is going to be more or less unfair than what happened to the exams last year. Um, because what happened to the exams last year was really, really unfair, but I think it's going to be more unfair this year. Yeah, I, know, I know I need to explain myself properly. So last year, the GCSE and A-level exams, after much, much drawn out trauma, changing minds at the last minute, the government literally doing as much as they can to make as much message as possible, were all done on centre assessed grades. So the grades that everyone in your school decided to give the year 11s and their year 13s. And the year 13s only got these grades after you know potentially losing out on places and having to wait and having to reset it was horrifically unfair to them but everyone was in roughly the same situation everyone got center assessed grades and while some schools judged fairly some schools some schools gave much higher grades than students would have got some schools got much lower grades than some uh, would have got everyone understands what happened last year and everyone's going to be sympathetic to what happened last year so there were stories coming out of people getting 6-1 places people getting university places irrespective of what their grades were because the schools and colleges understood it was an awful awful situation but everyone was in the same situation and this is where i think the unfairness of this year is going to come in because not everyone is going to be in the same situation now at the moment we are still having exams I, I say at the moment. We still don't know for certain that the exams are going to take place. We are, you know, the restrictions on our daily lives are increasing at the moment. Things do not appear to be getting any better anytime soon. Oh god, this is all doom and gloom. Things don't appear to be getting any better anytime soon. So, while at the moment there are going to be GCSE and A-level exams in 2021, there might not be and we don't know that for sure. Um, they weren't such to change things at the last minute. Scotland have already said that they are cancelling a whole load of exams and just going off coursework. Not all subjects in England, Wales have coursework, so that's not necessarily something we can copy immediately, but Scotland have already made that announcement. England, Wales, Northern Ireland, we haven't had that announcement. We are still going with there are going to be exams. So we still need to be revising and studying for all of those. But this is where the huge unfairness of the situation comes in. Not everybody, not everybody in year 11, not everybody in year 13, or the other years is going to be in school with the same amount or is going to have the same opportunity to go to school the same amount. On the first day that we were due to go back to school, my son started coughing and we couldn't get him a test. So we just had to wait out the quarantine. And what what do we do? Those straight away weeks off school. And there was nothing to do about it. We just had to sit at home, a whole family. We just had to sit at home while the rest of his class, while the rest of the school went back and we didn't. And it's gonna be like that for the whole year. It's gonna be really, really bad during the winter season because it's cold and flu season. Everyone's getting coughs and temperatures. And if you get a cough and you're off school, but the school aren't prepared for you to be off school and you don't get any work sent home, you're missing out on two weeks of education and that's not fair. You are then at a massive disadvantage to everyone else in your class, to everyone else in the year, to all of your peers all over the country. If your bubble is sent home because so many test positive, you are then going to be at a disadvantage to everyone else in the country. Or if your whole school is shut, or if your teacher is off sick, you are at a massive disadvantage to everyone else in the country. There are going to be some schools, some very, very lucky schools, some very, very lucky students who never close throughout this whole year. It's not going to be many because I can see lots and lots of school closures. But there are going to be some schools and some students who are in school every single day, sat in front of a teacher doing the work. 
And on the other side of that, there are going to be some very unlucky students who just keep getting hit, who keep getting coughs, whose bubbles keep getting popped, and they are not going to be in school as much as the other students. But they're going to be sitting the same exams, hopefully, in May, June, maybe even July. They're going to be sitting the same exams and they're going to be judged against the same criteria. But they have had a long, long, long way off a fair and equal education. Now, as a side note, I do not think access to education is fair or equal in the this country, which is a massive part of why I've spent all my time making free YouTube videos for you. But this year is going to be even worse. This year, the disparity, and it's not even a disparity between like people can afford stuff and people who can't afford stuff, it's just going to be pure dumb luck this year. Do you get a cough? Does your bubble pop? Does your teacher get sick? And there is nothing we can do about it. I mean, something we can do about it, but there's nothing we can do about the fact that if you get a cough, you're off school, or if your bubble pops, it's just going to be horrifically unfair it's we can't change the situation we can't make it go away we can't pretend it's not happening because it is we are living through this we are living through history this will be at some point in the future a case study on the GCSE history exam and your children your grandchildren your great-grandchildren will go grammy what was it like? And you can explain to them what it was like sitting around the house watching Netflix and then finishing Netflix, finishing all of Netflix. We are living through history at the moment and when we look back on it we will be able to see the good points but at the moment it's really hard to see the good points. I'm predicting the future for this year just in my opinion I think it's going to be really unfair. I think it's going to be really hard. I think there's going to be a lot more responsibility put on you as individual students to take ownership of your education. We have to get through this the best that we can. I'm going to be here putting out videos. Like, if you subscribe to my channel, you will see how many videos I'm putting out, how much stuff there is on my website, how many predictive papers there are, how many workbooks, how many multiple choice questions. I am working my arse off to make sure that you have access to everything that you need to try and do the best that we can in this horrible horrible situation so in my opinion this year is going to be even more unfair than last year um what do you think guys ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.